Hi, do you know the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent in the following reaction? No? No worries, join my class. Hi everyone, today we're going to explain about oxidation and reduction. We're going to define the redox reactions and then we're going to specify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. These are the objectives that we're going to explain in this video. Don't forget to answer the questions at the end of the video and put your answer in the comments section below. Thank you. Oxidation reduction. Oxidation is defined as losing of electrons while reduction is defined as gaining of electrons. As we are going to learn in this video, that oxidation happens when the oxidation number increases, while reduction happens when the oxidation number decreases. And usually they happen at the same time, and we call that redox reaction. Let's start with our first example. Imagine that we have this chemical reaction, and we want to know which element is oxidized and which element is reduced. To do this, the first thing we have to do is to find the oxidation number for all the elements in this reaction. And it is very important to watch my previous video about how to find the oxidation number, which I will keep a link for it in the description below. The oxidation number for hydrogen is plus one, and since chlorine forming a compound with it, so it's minus one. Sodium in group one plus one, oxygen minus two, H plus one. The same with the other side, H plus 1, oxygen minus 2, sodium plus 1, chlorine minus 1, since it's forming compound with plus 1. As you could see here, there is no change in the oxidation numbers, so this is not a redox reaction. We don't have elements that are reduced, and we don't have elements that are oxidized. Let's have another example, the reaction of sodium with the fluorine to give sodium fluoride. The oxidation number for sodium is zero since it's a free element, also with fluorine. Sodium in compounds always plus one and fluorine in compounds always minus one. As you could see here, the oxidation number of sodium and fluorine changed. Though this one is called a redox reaction. And since the oxidation number of sodium increased, so it's doing oxidation, while the oxidation number of fluorine decreased, so it is doing reduction. If you want to split this reaction into two half reactions, we can write it as follows. We can write two sodium atoms are changed to two sodium ions and fluorine is changing to two fluoride ions. And now I want you to listen carefully to this step. To balance the charge on both sides, here we have zero and here we have plus one multiplied by 2 so we have 2 plus to the right and 0 to the left so we have to add 2 negative to the right to balance the charge so we add 2 electrons to the right and now the charge is balanced in the first one and the second one we have 0 to the left and 2 negative to the right so we should add the electrons to the left so now we have 2 electrons to the left are added and the charge is balanced and now when the electrons are in the product side, it means that we lost them. When the electrons are on the reactant side, it means that we gained them. So sodium is oxidized while fluorine is reduced. Now if I want to determine the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent of the following reaction. In fact, the oxidizing agent is the substance that caused reduction for the other one. And reducing agent is the substance that was oxidized and caused the other one to be reduced. So here the oxidizing agent is going to be fluorine while the reducing agent is going to be sodium. And always we choose the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent from the reactant side. Let's have another example. Here hydrogen is reacting with copper oxide to give copper plus water. We start by writing the oxidation numbers as I told you 
I will keep a link in the description showing you how to find the oxidation number for different atoms. After finding all the oxidation numbers, we can find that hydrogen changed its oxidation number and also copper changed its oxidation number. So here it's a redox reaction. And since the oxidation number for hydrogen increased, so it is oxidized and the oxidation number of copper decreased, so it is reduced. And here are the half reactions. We took them from the upper reaction. H2 changed to 2H plus and copper 2 plus changed to copper. To balance the first one, we have to add the electron to the right side. Two electrons to the right side, so now the charge is balanced. And the second one, we have to add the electrons to the left side to balance the charge so that both sides have zero charge. In the first one, we have oxidation since the electrons are lost or in the product side. In the second one, it's reduction since we have the electrons in the reactant side, which means that they are gained. If I want to determine the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent, as I told you, the element or the substance which is oxidized, it's going to be the reducing agent and the substance which is reduced is going to be the oxidizing agent and always we take them from the reactant side always the oxidizing agent and the reducing agents we take them from the reactant side don't forget this let's have this as a final example we have a chemical reaction we start by writing the oxidation numbers for all the elements as we learned from before that always the oxidation number of oxygen in compounds is minus two and the oxidation number for hydrogen in compounds is always plus one and then we do the math to find the oxidation number for sulfur we can see that there is no change in the oxidation number it means that this reaction is not a redox reaction and there is no oxidizing and reducing agent in this chemical reaction to summarize this video at the end as we could see that whenever we have the oxidation number increases it means that we have oxidation and this is called the reducing agent and whenever the oxidation number decreases this is the reduction and it's called the oxidizing agent. Now it's your turn to answer, pause the video, copy the questions, answer them. Put your answer in the comment section below. Thank you.